how to make this minion. I believe his name is Stuart, so let's get started. Now, I when I first started using Tinkercad, this right here was a was an option. Like it was one of these things you can download, you know, or you can just you know drag onto the the bed here. However, now I've found that you have to actually look for it. And this is the way I've done it in the past. You type in the word Tinkercad and capsule capsule and right there first thing that shows up you're just gonna click on it and it if you already have Tinkercad open it will open Tinkercad under your account so make sure you have it open before you start doing any of this and right now it's just gonna give me this capsule it's gonna take me to a screen and it's gonna appear right in the middle of it if I remember correctly and there it is so what I'm gonna do just for the you know sake of uh, speed, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open my previous one on Parl Minion, and there it is. And essentially, all, all I'm going to do is uh, put it right here. I'm going to paste it right there. All right, that thing looks huge to me. So I'm going to drag this over here to the side and. Honestly, you could just start at this size and go ahead and start making your minion. I'm going to try to copy the dimensions that are already here. And it looks like it's fit, it said 49, so I'm just going to click on 49. Enter. I'm going to raise it up using this arrow to right about there. That looks about right. Let's click on the front to get a better view. I guess I should select both of them to get a front view. All right, that's not bad. So I'm going to make them yellow. Why? Because I want it to look like a minion already. Duh. All right, while we're here, don't forget to subscribe and uh, get hit the notification button. Do all the things you have to do to make this place cool, please. Let's go ahead and give this guy some pants. Now, I had some students that were asking me, how do you make some pants for this guy? And yeah, if you look at it very, you know, if you're if you're not if you're new at this, it's gonna look a little bit difficult to make these pants. But just wait. Let me show you what I did. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate this one right here by clicking here. And then I'm gonna change this to blue. Mm, which blue did I use? I think it's this one. It doesn't look like the right blue. Let me try that one. Yeah, that's it. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. Right now it's at 30, so let's make it 31 and 31. Obviously it doesn't align perfectly, but um, I'm thinking 32. Let's just change it to 32. My apologies for those of you that are trying to follow along. And then I'm going to align the two. I'm going to align the two. Did you see that? I selected both of them by clicking and dragging. I'm going to click align, and I only want to align in this direction and that direction. So here we go. There we go. When it's gray and gray, we're good. Now, I'm going to dra drag this box over here. This makes holes. I'm going to drag it to make sure it covers the, the top and I'm going to make sure it covers the back. Okay, that looks like it's covering the back. Now I'm going to drag it down to where, <clears throat> actually, notice that I changed the angles. If I were to go this way, it would change what I could do here. So I'm going to change the angle to look at it from the bottom and now I can drag this down, which is what I want because I'm creating pants for this guy, if you didn't notice. So I'm going to click on the pants here and I'm going to Shift click on that. So now I've selected both of these and I'm going to group them. Oh, groups over here, right there. Did it work? It did. I have now created pants. All right. They look kind of thicker than this one, so I may have to reduce it back to 31. Again, let me click on the outside corner right there. I'm going to go back to 31. Honestly, what it looks like here and what it looks like when it's uh, printed. It's a little bit different. As you notice, when I changed it back, um, it moved out of place. So I'm just going to hit the Align tool again. Click. I want it to be centered here and here. All right. Looks like we're good again. <clears throat> now I'm going to try this headband, which all it is is one of these. Now, if you remember, this right here is 30. And I want to make this 31 by 31. Now, a lot of my students, for some reason, who aren't really listening to my videos anyways, unlike uh, Mr. Waters class who always listens to my videos, they leave this kind of 
choppy when they leave it like this. I like to be smooth, so that's that's why I move, make that move. The headband, let's make it, let's say three. I'm gonna make it all black. Let's change the color to black right there. And I, again, I'm gonna align it. Saw that? Click and drag. I'm aligning it. I want it to be centered and centered. Oh, that was already centered. Very nice. Now I'm just gonna drag it up with that little, oh, kind of hard to see. Let me get closer. Black arrow right there. Click, drag it up. It looks like it's a little bit thicker than those right here. I'm okay with that. You want to change it? That's fine with me. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. And I'm going to drag it back down. Now what I'm going to do is I want to make his eyepiece right here. So let's change it to gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. I'll, I'll use this right here to duplicate it. I'm going to make it a hole. Now I'll duplicate it now that I've selected it make it a hole and then I'm going to reduce it by how much let's say 28 by 28 and now I'm going to align it if you haven't noticed I use the align tool a lot there oh look it did make a copy that's so weird I just didn't see it I'm going to group these two and then I'm going to well I'm going to select these two and then I'm going to group them that's how that works and then I'm going to hit shift and drag it so it stays a circle. I'm not 100% sure I like the size. I'm just going to give it to a size or make it a size that I think would be appropriate. And then I'm going to check check it once it's on its face. So I'm going to move that up here. And with my arrow keys, I'm going to move it. Wow, that I'm not sure if you think so, but I think this is really big. So I'm going to hit shift. And I'm, I'm I'm holding the shift button, but I'm going to move it down like this at the same time. That way I know it's going to stay the same shape and not going to be changing. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys. Now one reason I use the arrow keys is because sometimes I try to move this and it just moves so weird when I use a mouse. But the arrow key I know will move up and down. I'm sorry, left and right. And that looks good. Although I'm going to change this to make it a little bit farther back. And now... I want it to go into his uh, his body, so I'm going to change that to, let's say, three. A little bit more, four. That's fine. Okay, so now that we have this, let's make the eye and then the eyeball and the eyelid fairly quickly because they're all going to be using the same shape. Let's make it the white one first. White. And I'm just going to move it down... I'm guessing at this point because when I put it up here, I'm going to change dimensions anyways. And one thing I noticed, this one's a little bit low compared to this one. So I'm going to move it up a little bit more. That's better. And I don't know, I feel like I should make it smaller. I don't know. I'll keep it like that for now. So the eyeball. Uh, still too much. I'm going to go to three. Now I'm going to rotate it like I did before. I'm going to hit the shift button this time to make it go faster. See, when you hit the shift, it only goes in increments of, I think, 45. Not really sure, but it's much faster. Whoa, that thing is huge. So I'm going to hit the shift button again, and I'm going to move this down. I'm going to drag this up with the arrow. and still going to minimize or make it smaller by holding the shift button. And now with the arrow keys, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to change this part right here because I do want it to uh, move in smaller increments. Right now it was at one millimeter. Point 0.1 is much better. So I'm going to hit the shift button, move that down a little bit. That's a little bit better. I think I want his eye to be right. That's good. I don't know. I think I can center it a little bit better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we did this. Now I don't like that we can see the eye, so what should I do? Should I minimize? Yeah, let's minimize this thing by a little bit. I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to move that one down. Again, when you're making your own, you can change the dimensions. They don't have to match mine because <clears throat> maybe you think you can make a better one. I'm showing you how to make the parts. If you want to make it a little bit different, that's fine too. All right, so the eye is there. <coughs> now I'm going to duplicate it, clicking this. I'm going to move it forward. And I'm going to change the color to brown. 
background. I'm going to hit shift and then I'm going to move the eyeball. Make that go a little bit higher. And why is that moving? Like, oh, I'm moving the wrong one. All right, I think it looks much bigger than that one. You know what? I'll move it just a little bit. I'm good with that. Now, again, I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to make it black for the pupil. That pupil looks kind of big, so I'll make it a little bit smaller. All right, I think we're good. Now for the eyelid. I'm going to duplicate it, the big white one. I'm going to change it to yellow. And check this out. I'm going to rotate it. Rotating it. I'm going to rotate it about that much. And then I'm going to move it down. Or is it up? Oh, with the arrow key, I'm, I'm pushing it back. The arrow key is moving it back. You see that? That's all I'm doing right there to create the eyelid, rotating it back. All right. And now let's make the mouth. Actually, let's work our way down and let's work with the hair. Now the hair is just one of these tubes right here. And then it's rotated. It's rotated with the shift, so it only gives us a few options there. I'm going to move this thing up so you can see it better. I'm going to color it black. And then I'm going to make it super, super small. I'm going to hit shift. See that what happens when you go from the side? It's a lot easier when you just go like this. Shift. Let's put this donut up there and see what happens. Oh, wrong. Right there. It's going to look super, super thick. So I'm going to drag it in place and then I'm going to thin it out. One. Let's go with 0.5. It's not bad, but I'm not sure if you notice, it looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse's ear. So I'm gonna make it longer. And I'm gonna drag it over and rotate it. See that arrow right there? I'm gonna rotate it slightly and then move it down. I still think it's kind of thick, so I'm gonna make it even thinner than before. Huh, it's changed dimensions on me. Must have rotated it differently. Now I feel like it's a little too thin. So instead of that, let's make it one. That's not bad. All right. So as you can see, when you're doing this, you can rotate it however you want. You can make it thinner or you can make it thicker. Up to you, your hair. I'm just showing you the way I got to it. So now that I have these three, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy. Actually, I'm just going to hit the duplicate over here. Now this tool right here will let me um, rotate them in certain directions. So I want to go this way. Now they're all rotated in that direction. I'm just going to move the arrow keys to let me go to this side over here. And it's going to look like this guy has hair on both sides of his head. Not exactly the look I'm going for, so I'm going to move it forward with the arrow keys. That is much better right there. Uh, too much, so I'm going to go to the right and make it smaller. I'm liking this. However, now it looks like his part is a little bit to the right, not necessarily centered on his head. So a little bit better right there. I think I'm going to move this one a little bit more to the left and then we're going to move on to the next part because this is taking too long. We're good. Let's call that good. All right. So we have his eye, which at this point looks huge, but uh, I'm going to move on. Let me show you how to do his mouth. Now, I had a lot of students try this on their own and did not, they could not make this one. So I'm going to click here on the side. I'm not sure if you saw the basics. I'm going to go to featured collections. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Shape generator is my bad. I went not far enough. Now, there's one here called extrusion. Check this out. Extrusion. Where did it go? Maybe I'll do it again. Hello, where are you? Extrusion. Let's try it one more time. Oh, look, there it is. Now for you to get the full grasp of what's going on here, I'm going to rotate it. And then I want you to see what happens when I use this thing right here. 
it actually bends the way I want it to bend here. And then you can make this a bigger one or a smaller one. It's, it's so cool because it allows you to make more organic shapes. I'm going to drag this a little bit here, a little bit there. And again, you can make your, your minion mouth however you like. I'm just going to try to get it to look like the other one. That's not bad. All right. Now, you don't have to worry about the color because you're just going to make a hole in his face. I know, sounds kind of weird, but there it is. <laughs> the look, it's so funny. So I'm just going to drag this over here. And if you don't like the look, the beautiful thing is you can change it while it's on his face. So this one, let's change it a little bit there. Let's move it down a little bit there. And I want to move it down a little bit. That's a little bit better. That's good. And then I'm going to group the the mouth or the extrusion and his body grouped. All right. That looks huge. I'm sorry. I'm going to undo that one because that should not be sticking out that far. All right. So I'm going to try to measure it. I'm going to use the arrow keys so I can move this forward. And right there is the end of it. I really don't want it to go that far back. So let's just put it right about. Let's try that now. No, don't want to group all those. Okay, click and then shift click that and I'm going to group them. That's better. And now I'm going to use a different tool and I'm going to look for something that has rounded corners. So round, rounded. And that is the shape I'm talking about. Now I had some students make the teeth and they use blocks or they used ovals and they're fine. But if you really want the teeth to look a little bit more like teeth, this is what I want to recommend. And I'm not sure if you noticed this, but on this tooth, let's, uh, let's focus. There's that little line there. It, it doesn't show up when you're um, printing it because it's so small, but it does show up when you're looking at it. And I personally don't want to see it. So can I get rid of that? It looks like I can. So whatever. Let's just get over it. Okay. So we need teeth that fit in there. I'm going to try to minimize this until we have something like teeth size, and then I'm just going to shrink it back. Let's get a little bit closer to his mouth. It's not bad, but let's go with the extreme zoom. Whoop, there we go. That tooth looks huge compared to his mouth, so I'm going to hit shift, and then I'm going to click this down. And then, not bad. So maybe a little bit higher. Again, when you're making your own, you don't have to worry about my dimensions. Now, if you see something like this, then you know maybe you're going to have to change things a little bit. So I'm going to just uh, make the center teeth. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move them because this does require that the movement be very precise. Otherwise, the teeth come out looking kind of weird. I'm going to zoom into this guy's face so I can get a better look. All right. Wow a little bit like SpongeBob. So I'm going to duplicate this one with the control D and I'll move it over here. Obviously not the way I want it to look yet. And control D over here. And again, not the way I want it to look. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit and then I'm going to rotate again, rotate. And then with the arrow key, I'm going to move it back so that it fits again here. Arrow, I'm going to rotate and then move it back. Now, I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to rotate it some more and then move it forward again. Rotate it some more. Wow, that thing is not going anywhere. Again, when you're, well, when you're making yours, you can decide how, how you want the teeth to look. I'm going to duplicate all the teeth. I'm going to select them all, hit shift and hold the shift button and hold the shift button still and duplicate them all. And then I'm going to drag them straight down. Wow teeth beautiful all right so we're working our way down now i had a lot of students actually i had a couple students that figured this out and i was very proud of them <clears throat> we're gonna go down to the well we're already there but let me show you if you go from basics to shape generators there is this one pole somewhere around there it is what is this called i didn't even check bent pipe 
this is exactly what I used to make these. So I'm going to turn this around. And then I'm going to change it to yellow because of course. Now I'm going to shrink this up. I hit the shift and did that. Now, not the way I want it to be. So I'm going to rotate it so I can see the, the bend angle. That's good right there. I'll move it up and I'm going to change the parameters here. Now let's see bend angle. Oh, this is much nicer, right about there. And now I'm going to rotate it so that it looks more like an arm sticking out of here. And you know what? While I like this, I think I would like it even more if we had a place to put this arm. So let's put this over here. Now, so many students were saying, Mr. Amparo, how did you make this opening here? Well, let's show you how. <clears throat> I'm going to go to basics. And I'm going to go to this one right here, this shape and that shape right there. I want to, what do I want to do? I want to align them. Okay. So I'm going to align tool. Perfect. Now I want to select this one, but I can't. So what I'm going to do is I move that one up and then I select the bottom one because I want it to be at the top here. I want this one to touch the ground, but I don't want to be moving it up and down. So I'm going to hit the letter D and look what happens. Excellence happens, of course. So now what I want to do is I'm going to drag this one here. And I'm going to drag this one on top of that. Now, here's what I did when, when I saw the original minion, I looked at the side and I thought, what shape does that look like? Is it, and I thought it looks like a half circle and a square underneath it. So that's exactly what I created. So I'm going to group these two to make them one shape. And then I'm going to make it transparent. Then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to move it up. But at the same time, I'm also going to shrink it because that's way too big. <coughs> you see, it's starting to look like that, but still too big. That looks a little bit better. Okay, I want the strap over here to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to uh i think that's about right however let me check i want to make it a little bit smaller but at the same time i wanted to go through his entire body so i'll put this at 50 and there it is 50. now let's make sure it crosses the entire part of his body here and i think we're good to go let's go ahead and select only his clothing and this shape here and we're gonna put him we're gonna group them and that is how you make the place for his arms I know it's a thing of beauty. You might want to watch that several times over and over again. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so that's all. Let's check the outer pipe width. We don't want it to be super thick, so let's go back. Whoa, super thin. So that's how I changed that. What number is it? 8.86, it looks like. Now we're going to be j adjusting this to make it look appropriate because who knows? Maybe it's too big or too small for yours. So let's play with this too far away let's put it right here and you want it to be under the clothing that looks about right and if you really wanted to you could change the bend angle to make it like more or less that's fine too so I'm gonna duplicate this thing at the same time when we use this thing which is the mirror tool and I want it to go the same direction that way so see how it's now made an arm for me. Well, that is way too slow. I'm going to need to hit the shift and then I'm going to drag it over here. All right, that's too much. So I'm going to use the arrow keys now to move that over there. And that looks good to me. How is it there? Pretty symmetrical. And now let's focus on the buttons, which I mean, come on, they're only, did I make this? Actually, no, I wanted to be a little more creative with the buttons. So I created one of these. And then I created one of these and they're the same size, but I wanted this to be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to align the two, but first let me make them just the right sizes. If, and as, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm just looking to see what looks like a little bit like a button. All right. So that looks like a button to me. So I'm going to group them, make them black. I'm going to rotate it so I can get to 90. And I think I just passed 90. Did I? Yeah, I did. 
So control Z or back. And let's try 90 again. Where is the arrow? I want the arrow there. There it is. Hit shift and that appears. So now let's move it up. Why can't I move it up? There it is. Let's put it over the clothing, but now I'm going to shrink it. And once it's on its clothing, I'm going to have to uh, adjust the angle just because I want it to match um, his shirt. So you're going to have to play with this because it really depends on what size you used when you're making your minion. And <clears throat> I can't really tell you unless you followed mine exactly, which I hope you don't. I hope you take some artistic choices and change it to make it look as best as you can make it. All right, so I'm, let's, let's just rotate this a little bit. Now, I hate when this happens when I try to hit the little arrow thing, but then the numbers get in the way. So that means I have to zoom in. And now the arrows thing, the arrows do not get in the way. Now, that's good enough, but I want to use the arrow keys to just move it forward. You see that? All right, that's good. And of course, now I'm going to use my favorite tool. Actually, not my favorite, but the one that gets me so much time because it gives me a shortcut, I'm going to duplicate and then do the same thing on the other side by mirror, mirroring it and then going on the other side over here. So slow, I'm going to hit the shift and then drag it over here. <clears throat> that shift and drag makes a straight line so it doesn't, it'll stay on the same plane right there. So yeah, we're good here. The pocket, I think by now you should be able to figure out. All I did was rotate this upside down, 90, make it smaller. <clears throat> now, I personally did not like how it came out here. It really, really did. Where is that arrow? <clears throat> I, I really didn't, I wasn't happy with that size, but you guys can change it. Let's change the color a little bit to uh, something that you would prefer. Now, the original minion had a little G here. Feel free to make that. I am not. And this pocket, I'm going to just duplicate and drag it over here because the pocket is right underneath his armpit. Great place for a pocket. All right there, I'm going to rotate it. And man, that is a thick pocket, but whatever. Let's just go and move it down about the size of his pocket. I may have to shrink it though. Whenever you do something that's already at a weird angle, it just it makes it weirder when you're trying to shrink it. The angles just move in a weird direction. All right, so the pockets are there. And I'm gonna rotate this this way. And again, it's getting kind of weird now. So I'm gonna move the arrow key so that pockets are there. I think we're good. I don't know. Let's move this over a little bit. All right, that's not bad. 